16 lifeguards are being certified through the YMCA certification program in conjunction with Gateway Region YMCA of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. But to become certified, the lifeguards must do nine e-learning courses blended into classroom teachings. Upon completion of the theory, the lifeguards in training will have to demonstrate pool skills in the practical component of certification exercise, including a number of different rescue scenarios. At the end of this um, certification course, they will have completed all the physical competency requirements that we have. Um, so they had to swim a certain distance of, uh, in the pool, they had to do some treading skills, and then they had to show us that they can go down to the bottom of, of at least eight, eight feet. Um, and then, so from that, once they pass that portion, they're then able to go through the rest of the course. So the rest of the course consists of the classroom learnings where they learn CPR and AED, um, first aid. Some of them are non assists. Uh, a lot of them are rescue skills with a distressed swimmer, a drowning victim that is responsive or one that is unresponsive. Basically, when we're teaching them, we're saying that on this day, they're able to complete these skills for us. But if they go off and don't practice these skills or don't have to do them over again, they're going to forget some of those skills, and that's very important. As far as the swimming lesson side is concerned, the majority of drownings in the United States happen when a lifeguard is not present. Um, so with a lifeguard on present, they're able to not only prevent accidents from happening, but if they do happen, they're able to respond to it in a timely manner, and that increases the likelihood of survival, um, especially in young children. Nertavo Rancheran is one of those lifeguards who help swimmers stay safe in the waters. He has always enjoyed swimming, coupled that with his love for helping people, lifeguarding presented an opportunity for him to do both. He got introduced to lifeguarding through the YMCA, and today he's hoping to become certified through this program. Today, we're practicing different life-saving techniques, such as if you have a spinal injury, how to take them out, how to properly take them out so that they don't damage their um, spinal cord anymore. And we're also practicing how to save someone if they're unconscious in the deep and in the shallow and how to take them out of the water properly. I believe that everyone should know how to swim. At the Y, we teach from infants to adults. At, of all ages. No one is too old or too young to learn how to swim. And we classify them in like beginners, intermediate, and advanced. And that's how we go placing them and how they learn different techniques and how to stay up, how to float, at least how to float. I believe that the law should be upheld that all public pools should have lifeguards in case of an emergency. And that's what we're training here in case we have an emergency. The YMCA says that there is a big need for lifeguards in Belize and certification programs like this one help lifeguards to be updated with industry techniques and equipment in lifeguarding. This is very important to us because with all the incidents, accidents and even drowning in our waterways, we feel that it is very important to promote and push lifeguard because instead of telling our young people no water, we need to prepare them for all the water around us. And the schools with whom we partner directly, people are trying to slow down and, and not take trips to the Keys and Rivers because of the concern. So there is a big need for swim instruction and there is an even bigger need for lifeguard training so that we can have safety among all our young people and our young groups. Lifeguards must be recertified through this program every two years to keep abreast of lifeguarding standards. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.